Ah, welcome. We've been expecting. My name is Artemis Magdalene, and I'm joined here by Shahar. Uh, we're going to be making fox pandits today. Woohoo! And as well as fish ones. Nice. And the, if you decide, if you go out there and share and comment our video, we are going to be giving away this specific one, this pink, white tinted, very cute, gorgeous fox. Isn't that cute? So cute. So well, all they have to do is comment on yeah, the chat, all they right? Have to do Whatever they're watching. The Woo, that's an easy one to get, right? Exactly. Yeah. So if you want to look, if you want to stand out, go ahead and comment. <laughs> yeah, you can start by saying where you are in the world. We would love to know. And questions too, right? Oh yeah, we definitely want your questions. The yes. more you could engage with us, the more we could tell you exactly what we're doing and yeah. answer any questions. So wherever you're watching, there's a chat either beside or below. Comment and ask questions. Artem will get right here and will ask me about, can be exactly. about life, about crafts, about what you want, right? Exactly. Cool. Anything I don't know, she's an expert, so. Okay, awesome. So for, let's show them first what they can make. So here's the deal. I found this very, very cute open pendants for you to use your sparkle of creativity uh, and create with different materials that you like to play. Because as you know, this is always a quick demo just to inspire you in creating something different. And by creating different things, you will say, oh, I could also do this and I could also do that. So I love foxes. I am, I am really an avid wildlife photographer, and I love when I see a fox. Actually, about a year ago, Artemis, mm -hmm. uh, I was at Yellowstone with Nashla, and we found a fox den. A fox den. And it had like five kids that were gorgeous. Little, and little cubs? Tiny, they were tiny, and they were so curious. So you have to be careful when you are taking wildlife photography not to interfere with them because mm -hmm. the fox they are like just like puppies they would come to they can't come to you and try to have fun yeah that makes sense but you don't want that first of all because you don't want to interfere with their lifestyle and you don't want the mama to come after you because she'll be mad if she well, sees you that interfering makes sense. with them if, if i hang out with someone my mom always questions you know who are you hanging out with they just <laughs> right? want your safety what are you doing that human over there exactly <laughs> come back right here richard and april go 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 back to the den so but they are cute Cute, cute, cute. So I love foxes. It's one of my top animals out there. They're so smart, right? They are smart. Yeah, they are very smart. They could steal your chickens. Yeah, so when I found this pendants, I said, oh, I got to have some because they're super cute. So then I made some pendants, mm -hmm. and I thought, oh, I need to share this because people are going to love. Oh. So let me show you a couple of possibilities for you to make. So this one that Artem is holding right now is made out of polymer clay. This is going to be one of the demos I'm going to be doing today. So you're going to learn how to make exactly the same pen. Look at that color. Yeah, and polymer and clay allows you, right, to change exactly. colors. Yeah. Those black shades on the tip of the tail as well yeah. as the ears, you could put a lot of detail in that. Yes. And you could almost see the whiskers. And I didn't go crazy with that one. I didn't put as many details as we could do. Mm -hmm. So we, I'm going to show you the easiest way and from there, you evolve, right? And yeah, you put you more creative. details, more fur, and you can even combine stuff with the polymer clay, glue Definitely. little things. The other one, so I have, I have two here, they're resin. This is another tutorial. So the, the giveaway is resin in pink, this one is in blue, and we are going to make one together in purple. And you can see that they're just adorable. Right, it's just, then you're really highlighting the frame in itself. I really like how the sun shines through them. Right? I love it. Yeah, it's kind of yeah. like the energy is coming through, right? Exactly. With that. And the third one, Nashla made that one. Oh, Artists. really? Yeah. And she made out of concrete. Maybe some of you know that she loves making jewelry out of concrete. And it's so easy to make that if you, uh. if you have ever tried, you actually just mix the concrete with water and the, the instructions come in the concrete container and then you pour. So what she did, she poured the, the concrete on the pendant and then she added some crystals. Uh, I think they're crystals or pieces of glass because she, she uses bo both of them. Uh, isn't that gorgeous? It is. I, yeah. did, I honestly wouldn't expect something with concrete to look, you know, that concrete beautiful. you would expect is on the floor all the time. And is it but light? Then, exactly. It looks wonderful and it looks like it doesn't look dirty. It looks clean. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's super resistant. 
That's the Super other resistant. very. Uh, so even if I mean, if it, any of them actually, if they fall very hard, it might break. But the, all the materials there are quite resistant, so you can use more. And I bet there are many more ways of making the these pendants. Now, after I found the fox, okay, I later found the fish. I think the fish is adorable. Ah, uh, I don't know if they will be able to see. This one is not made; it's just the frame. So of course, you're probably thinking, "How do I get this?" Well, you can uh, get from us. I'm trying and to make this. It's work. always the opposite. So yeah, see. There you go. There you go. Isn't that adorable? I know a lot of people love koi or those goldfish. Oh, yes, I love them definitely. myself. I had two uh, until recently, and they always like to wear stuff with them. So it makes a great gift to people as well. Don't they stand for luck? Quite yes, fish? they are. They, they have a whole meaning in the Japanese culture. And in feng shui, feng did, have shui. you ever heard? I've did never you, heard of feng you shui. You've never heard of that. Know, oh, right? We need to talk about that. So feng shui is a Chinese um, line of thought, let's say it that way, mm -hmm. about how you create an environment where the energy flows well. Oh, okay. okay. So the energy comes and blesses your home, mm. right? I can so, see what you're saying because personally... If I read at home, I see distractions all the time. But if mm -hmm. I read in the library, the atmosphere changes it's to totally a point, different. Yeah, where I concentrate more. Sometimes you go into an office or something, and there is a, a, a small water fountain. There is an aquarium. Oh, relaxing. And it puts you in that mood, right? Mm -hmm. So that would be feng shui if they know what they are doing, right? Well, why am I? Well, are we talking about feng shui where we should be talking about pendants? Because oh, the well. koi. <laughs> Yeah. The koi, the, the, the goldfish, is actually a symbol of luck. And they say that if you have eight goldfish, usually eight red, eight red and one black. Okay. Eight red and one black? You Why know what happens? What happens? You attract money or you oh. attract abundance in your life. We're going to be... Now, they poop like crazy. Yeah, definitely. So having nine of them in an aquarium is a lot of work. I don't know if it's worth the abundance you will get from that. Well, but if they're bringing you abundance, you might as well treat them too and clean right. their tank. Yeah, but they are and a nightmare. Let me tell you. This, you got to be responsible. I don't know what's wrong with this fish because they poop like crazy, but they are adorable. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. So what about before uh, the first, the first uh, demo that I'm going to make is the one with the resin. Okay. But I want you to tell them about the opportunity that they have today. Oh, because well, it's only 24 hours, so we need to get that out really soon. That makes sense. For limited time only, for 24 hours, we are giving, we are selling the Sculpe. Sorry, give me a brief moment. Uh, the Fish and Fox pendant frames, the super white concrete that you see. All of them, right? The UV resin that you're going oh, to yeah, see. Oh, yeah, the UV resin. We are giving also the... The uh, UV price. light curing lamp. Mm -hmm. and the you are natural, going to see that in action right now. It's super fantastic. Uh, and natural multi-pack sculpty clay yes. in a variety of different colors. So, so you, you, you have right here, mondomarkettv.com. Mondomarkettv.com. You have everything that you want for a promotional price of only 24 hours. So I wouldn't wait. So before I go, can you check if we have any comments? Oh, yeah, definitely. Because we are going to have a winner at the end of this hour. Oh, Beverly is saying hello. Beverly from Canada. Diane is saying hello. Yeah. That's so cool. Beverly, I bet we can do something with the Power Pro as well. I haven't tried yet, but I bet we can do. Because it would be easy to get some textile here, cover that with Power Pro, and have another. Oh, you should have thought about that. Oh, what should you uh, thought next of? Next time me. you remind me. Tell, you have tell to me try. right now. Well, you think about, about it right this. Now. I can get some fiber. OK. Could either be just wool that I need or felt. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a piece of textile that I find okay. it pretty that looks like somehow like a fox has some golden or, or orange tones. I can add here, put the power pole so the power pole will actually make it stay okay. on the frame. Yeah. And I have a different thing. That makes sense. That easy. I was thinking for these, you could make probably different things. You could maybe make those, what are they called? The brooches? Brooches, yeah, you, you can, can definitely make brooches you with these. You can definitely make. It's a lot of fun. So let's get started. So you might be asking, okay, so you're saying you can work with uh, resin, you can work with co concrete, you can work with polymer clay, but the frames are open. How on earth am I going to make that stay? Did that cross your mind? That did cross my mind because it would leak everywhere. It would pour Yes, on right. The it could make a big over. mess as well. Well, what you want to do is to work on a surface where you can put a piece of duct tape or transparent tape 
anything that is sticky. Okay. What I have on my table right here, Artemis, is actually called Wonder Tape. Wonder Tape. But if you get, look at here, what, it's, it's just why is it something called Wonder sticky. Tape? Because that's the name they gave it to okay. the thing. But well, what do you think is so wonderful about it compared to different Well, tape? I don't think it's wonderful. I think it's one option. Okay. Uh, it sticks really well. Sticks but if really I well. didn't have this right now, I would just put a piece of scotch tape there or, or the, the other one that is strong. Okay, that okay? makes sense. So what you do is, okay, guys, can I change the rules just a second? I'm going to make the fish because I don't have any fish ready. So I want to try that one. All you have to do is put this and, and put your fingers on so the whole frame sticks to the tape. Okay. It's that simple. So now what happens? Whatever I pour here is not going to go all around the table. Isn't and, that cool? And you could even move it, and since it's sticky, you won't. Yeah, I can. It won't disperse all along the tape. No. So now, what do I need? I need resin. So here's the deal. In the market, you have tons of resins, and most of them are very good. Uh, in this case, you want a resin that is transparent, because especially when you go, go and buy at the store, most of the time, the resin will be white, and unless you want a white fox really doesn't serve a purpose here. So you want the transparent one. Any of them will work. I am using a UV resin, which means that I can cure this with a UV lamp or even living at the sun. Why do I like this? Well, I like this because I'm very anxious as a person okay. and I don't like to wait. Oh. With a resin, you're at least if it's you know a top top resin, you're waiting two hours. But normally you're waiting 24 hours for it to cure. Oh really? So my anxiety level goes super high. I don't like that. I, I understand. So I rather do something that I can see in two minutes. What do you think? I think that sounds lovely. Time is like, precious, I, right? I myself am impatient all the time, and I feel like I rather wait less to have my results. Yeah, right. Instant gratification. So let's guilty. see what happens if we accomplish that. So I got a UV resin. I'm on the market. We have two types. This is the one I'm using today. The difference between the two is really the smell. The smell. This mm. one has almost no smell, uh, is, and the other one has a lot of smell. So if is you smell scented. Well, it's a, it's a chemical smell. Chemical smell. Okay, <coughs> sensitive chemicals. Not, it's, not, not good. it's not pleasant, but it's very good. Okay. Okay, so you have to have that in mind. With that resin, you want to be working with the windows open. And actually, with most types of resin, you want that. This one doesn't have a strong smell whatsoever. So that's the reason we are using that today. And I poured... Oh. What? Tell um, me. So Maria uh. is asking us to show the pendants again. Let's do it. So yeah, I think that's a great so idea. So this one is resin. Oh, and, and the giveaway, show the giveaway because that's also resin. So that's somebody that comments. We'll take this one home. I personally like the pink one more. You do? In, yeah, in person it has a little white tint on it. Yeah, it's it almost so translucent, right? It's like a boy and a girl right here. Yeah, right? Oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think about that when I made them. Then we have the one on concrete. All right. Uh, it's this one. This one. Nashla made that one. It's adorable. I love the patches. Did you see the nose? She put a tiny seed uh, bead on that nose and it's simply gorgeous. And then some pieces, I think pieces of glass that she has there. It looks nice. Yeah. The, it, it, oh, it's, sorry. It's going to... to it looks like it's, uh, it's a winter fox with patches. If she takes this to one of the f festivals we are going to participate, she's going to sell a boatload of them. Oh, and I you bet. should be thinking about that. Extra money is always good in anybody's life. This is and the this most one, detailed one. Yes, because polymer clay will, is not liquid, so allows me to work better with that is yeah. if I want details and if I want to look more like the fox. Oh, I love uh, the variety of colors too. Yes. You got that orange on point. Yeah, right? Yeah. Cool. So, so that's, oh, and then just the last one, show again, we are oh, going yeah. to make the fish. We're currently making this one. She said she didn't have any made, so that's yes. why she wants to do it first. Yeah, it actually arrived yesterday. So, I, ha I poured the resin on my cups. Now, you, if you ever worked with resin, you know that you usually start with two parts and mm -hmm. you mix them together so they can cure. That's how 90% of resins out there are. Well, the UV la uh, resin doesn't need something else. What oh, I really? have here is just because I want to try two colors at the same time. Oh. Okay, so I pour a tiny bit of resin here and a tiny bit of resin here. This one, I put a drop of alcohol ink to tint it okay, yellow. yellow. What this is going to do is keep everything transparent, okay? Now with this one, I got some mica powder. Oh, I love mica powder. And it's the one you buy in any embossing department. 
in any craft store, and you're going to do, I use, uh, uh, how do you call this? Oh, it's popsicle a popsicle stick. Mm, popsicle stick, you're yes. right. Yes, so you use this because you don't want to be cleaning uh, with the resin, it's just easier to throw it away. So you get a tiny bit of that, it really has to be just a tiny bit, and you pour into that resin. You could be using acrylic paint as well, it's just going to be more opaque. So you have to think, opaque. what do what is, I what want? What's the definition of opaque? Well, you're not going to see the light come through like you see with the, the ones that you have right there. Okay, so it, okay. it gets a little bit more transparent. So it's oh, a that choice. Makes sense. It's a choice. It's now, less transparent. because I'm a girl that loves some bling. Okay. Sparkle. I have some, how do you call this? A glitter. Glitter. It's called, glitter. It's called it, obviously, right? But yeah. as a foreigner, I have to forget the word. I think it's really appropriate to sparkle our creativity. With right? Some Let's add some sparkle. Yeah, That's exactly. good. So I'm going to add some glitter to my fish. Okay? And then I just mix a little bit and I can start pouring. Now, like I said, you're not working with a lot of resin. Usually, when the resin comes to the border, it kind of stops. So you can even create some more dimension, but you, you have the chance that it will also fall a little bit on the side. So I'm going to color this guy purple here. And you see, I'm being patient here. So I pour the resin, I, I don't put everything at once because too much will cause me to have to clean. That purple and gold looks really pretty together. I think it will look really good. Okay. So Artem, I didn't bring my glasses. Just see if all this part is. Um, is it? Yeah, I think it looks okay. great. Uh, the top, little top portion needs some of the more. fin needs some more love. Yeah. Okay, there we go. And I, I would be safe if, if, even to bring a little bit more. Like I told you, uh, the resin tends to stop at the edge. So now I'm going to put some more on the tail. So I want part of the tail to be yellow. And with my... Pops popsicle stick. By the way, Beverly is saying it's lovely. Yeah, it's going to be beautiful. Or Maria said it's lovely, and then Beverly said I love it. You know, guys, if you haven't heard, Beverly is coming back to give another class at Curious Mondo, our sister company, and she's making some... She made a dragon, Artemis, the other day. Yeah. It was unbelievable. Was I there for the dragon? Uh, she, she made a dragon with textile. That where, she where she posted on a gallery, and it was sold like... Boop, sold. So she's making many. Thank you so much. I can see now. I wish I could see it in the beginning. Oh, nice. Okay. So now I'm putting the yellow. And again, oh, you just tiny, fins? I'm going to mix. So part of the. It's kind of like tail. almost an ember color. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? And it's going to keep the transparency going. And I can even be bold and try some dots here. Do it. Just to give more interest to the piece. Sometimes in life, you just need to add a little bit more color. Sparkle, right? Sparkle too. And you can see my, my nose here, I probably didn't touch well the thing and it, it, we have a little bit coming out. Okay, so I have everything covered. Now with resin, you always need to tap a lot because any air will create bubbles and that's not fun whatsoever. Now, with a UV resin, most, most brands actually of UV resin, UV resin, mm -hmm. you don't have that issue. But there might be some air here that you don't want. So just grab the whatever tape you're using and do this a little bit. This will make the air come up and any chance of bubbles are gone. But you, you don't need to do half as much as you would do with a normal resin. They don't tend to keep. Now, I told you this is UV. Yes. I didn't mix part A and B because it doesn't come with part A and okay. B. Okay. So now I have one... two choices. I could take outside mm -hmm. and put in the sun. But we live in Utah. Today is kind of cold, no sun. Okay. So today is not an option. So then you have the option of a UV light. This UV light is quite cool because it's a 12 watt. 12 which watt. means that is, if you try to buy in a craft store, a UV light is going to be a lot less than this, which means things not only cure fast, they also cure deeper. Let me explain the deeper part. This is a very thin kind of frame. So it would be fine in any UV light you might find out there. But if it was a thicker one, like, you know, one eighth of an inch or more, 
what happens when you use the, the market UV light is that it cures the top and it doesn't cure the inside. And it's extremely frustrating. Okay? I, it would be frustrating if your whole entire piece didn't come out at the same time. Exactly. With this one, you're good either way because it's a strong light. And I usually just leave like that. It's just that it's, it's lighting by itself. Oh, unfortunately. And it stays Art on for two minutes. Okay. And that's, that's all we need. All now, I am a kind of a, a paranoid person. Okay. So I always put at least twice, and then I turn around and put one more because I want my oh, piece to be nice. It's like period. insurance, right? Right. So why are you curious? Why don't you tell them about the amazing offer and check if they have any questions? Ah, uh, well, currently I'll, I'll read the questions first. Okay. Uh, Beverly is saying, I'm in my studio being inspired by you and working on some new projects. Ooh. It sounds nice. Ooh, We're I like that. To see your new I projects. like that. Yeah, she's been making some amazing... I follow her on Facebook, and I see what she's making. It's unbelievable. Hmm. Um, and then what we are... Offering today? Offering today for a limited time the for a special price. Uh, we're giving away the fish and fox pendants. It's both right here. For a promotional price? Yes, for a promotional price. How long does it last? Uh, it lasts for 24 hours. Yeah, so they either take action right now yeah, or, they or, miss. They, or they miss out. Did we mention, I don't think we mentioned that, that we always bring a limited amount. So once it's gone, it's gone. And with this type of pendant, you don't want one. It's, that's, that's not fun. That's true. You do want multiple ones. You, I know. I was making this. I was like, I need another one. And I need another one, They're right? They're so small and you do them so quick that mm -hmm. you want to do multiple in, at a time. Yes. So you need several. And we only have a limited amount. That's, that's life. What else do we have on that, promotion that's today? That's life. I yeah. like that. <laughs> Uh, what else we have is a white concrete. Yeah. Uh, you saw her mix it with the mica. and. Yeah, it's super simple. The instructions oh, wait, are there. We didn't the mix. Okay, just kidding. But, but you just put a spoon, uh, two spoons of concrete, one tiny spoon of water, and that's all. Okay. And it comes with that instruction, so very easy. Uh, we also have the sculpting clay. It's a uh, natural multi-pack. Mm-hmm. There are several colors. Different colors. They all look great. I see that fox orange is in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then we also have the UV light curing lamp that Shahar is currently using. That is the one you can either put in the sun. Yeah. Or you can use a UV light. And the UV light is also on a promo price today. Yeah, definitely. Right? So, so they have what? One, two, three, four, five different products in promo price for 24 hours. Huh. And we also they should have be the super happy. UV resin. Mm-hmm. And what did you use the resin for? So Look at here. What are we using this for? Oh, it's well, all no, made of resin. Yeah, I mean, obviously, but right? I just wanted you to talk about Any, it a Well, bit. think about this. You can use molds that you have at home to create pieces of jewelry. Yeah. You can create wall pieces using molds. The resin usually goes inside a mold. Mm -hmm. uh, there are other types of arts that you would use resin to create tabletops. Did you know that? I didn't know oh, that. Oh, there are some that are gorgeous. Intricate. So it, it's good to get your hands dirty with the resin, so then your creativity comes in place and you say, what if I did that? What if I did that? So this one is ready. Like okay. I told you, I'm paranoid, so I'm trying the back as well. I, I understand. But you don't want to fall apart. Yeah, I just want to be sure because I don't want to be frustrated the moment safe I take it sorry, out. sorry, right? It is really two minutes that you need, but I like to play safe in this guy. So I, I'm putting this aside so we can do the other one, okay, and I'll let's show do you. It. Once, once I take it out. So the next one will be in polymer clay. Do you want to do the fox or the fish? Now I'm going to do the fox because we call fox pendant uh, episode today. Oh yeah, but that's But then I true. got the fish and so said, I gotta show that. I, I personally love the fish. So I, yeah, I love, I love it. I'm so, really into aquatic things. Oh, you are? Yeah. Do you have fish at home? I don't have fish at home. Oh, I used to have on. fish all the time, but you know, as you said, they're kind of high maintenance. Yep. I have guppies right now. They have babies like, they are worse than rabbits. It's oh, all really? the time. So I, I'm trying to find a solution or else I'm going to end up with 300 occurrences. Give home. them out left and right. Right? Okay, so I press the, the polymer clay. So this is going to be my main body. Linda says hello, by the way. Hello, oh, Linda. hello, Linda. And then with my scalpel, a scalpel, how do you say that? Scalpel. A scalpel. So I come with that and I just go really close to the metal. Okay, what I'm doing right now is really just cutting the clay. I do see that. See, so it becomes easier for me the later. Sc scalpel allows you to get very close to the edge, huh? Yep. And, of course, 
you can do this different ways. This is one way of making this, okay? Yeah. And I think the end result is uh, good. I remember uh, in a different class, you were using a pointy little needle to cut the sides of the Yeah, every time away. I forget where I put something, I use something Improvise. else. Improvise, she improvises. Yeah. Which is a great skill we to have. We were talking this morning, right, the, uh, about being ADD. Yeah. It's fun, but it's not easy. <laughs> okay, so you take that out. Okay, and now I have the, the beginning of my fox, okay? What I do is I'm going now to try to take it out. If I'm working with a, a very soft clay, which okay. is not the case, this is the one I like, that's why we have it here, um, I, I could lose everything right now. And when it's too warm, because we are manipulating this mm -hmm. and we are in a warm can I, can environment. I see how this feels? Yeah? See that it's not too soft? No, it's not. It's good enough for you to manipulate, but not too much. So let's see, because this one is a little bit hot. But what you do is come with a blade and go all around so you can get the piece out. Once you do that, you, I'm going to press here so it creates some dimension okay. on my face. Now, let's, let's get the one we have ready. I want to show you uh, one this, thing. This, this fox, the one we have? Yeah. So because I'm pressing, put this way, because I'm pressing, see that you can see a concave shape from the back. If that bothers you at all, what you do later is either add another layer of polymer clay or just cover that with a piece of felt. And you don't have that. That does not bother me, so it's going to stay that way. But, you know, if I was making several to sell, I might cover how them. Think, how do you think someone would make a double-sided one? So face on both sides? Yeah. yeah just put some clay there and oh, make a face. that does sound easy. I, I answered. Yeah. My, my imagination. Right, that, my that, well, that's what we want, right? See, you're seeing a demo, a quick one, and you already had another idea. How that's do I true. have two sides? And then as you were doing that, you already figure out, right? Isn't that cool? That's what we are looking for. Okay, so now I have the basic shape. I'm going to take care of my hole for, for the chain link love, right now before I forget. I love how the polymer clay gives dimension. Yes, I like fox. that. I love polymer clay. Okay, so now I have the hole. Well, now you decide what you want to do. Carefully, let's show a close up. Oh, yeah. You could leave like this with the color in itself, okay? Or you can add details. It's beautiful the way it is, isn't it? It is. I, that shade is really nice too. So I'm going to add a tiny bit. Let's play with the white first. Oh, what do you want to, where do you want to put the white? Well, the chest, they usually have some oh, white fur true. here. And when you're playing with polymer clay, you want to play with the light colors first because your hand gets dirty with the uh -huh. colors and you start tinting them and you don't want that. So I'm going to add some here. Now, do you think her tail... Oh, and some here on the face. Well, what do you think would look good with that specific... Is it orange or reddish tint? It's like a Moab color. Yeah, I like that. It's a different type of orange. They, they change a lot. I once photographed one that I call that a blonde fox. Blonde fox? Because it, it was blonde. You should, the snout for sure, I think, should be white. Yeah, so let's do that. Okay. So, good idea if I put my glasses on again. Just helps. It yeah, probably does okay, help. Let's check if people are participating. Oh, definitely. Because we have a winner at the end. Oh yeah, if you comment throughout the whole entire time that we're doing this broadcast, we will be giving you this, no, not this one. We'll be giving you the pink uh, pendant. Yes. So ask questions. If you never played with polymer clay or resin, let us know. Oh yeah. Right, whatever And there's different there. colors of polymer clay. Oh yeah, there's a multitude of them. So now what I'm going to do is create the fur in itself. So with my stylus ball, could be a needle too. Ooh, I just detail. create, yeah, and a little bit here on the face. Oh, that's how you got the whiskers, huh? Uh-huh. Okay, and now I think it's missing a the little snout? black nose, it the kind snout. Of is. Okay. And of course, on the tail, it's they, the they tail. usually are black there, right? A little bit. Oh, well, I'm thinking this one is kind oh, of white. Oh, look how cute, the, my God. It does look cute. It's so cute. Okay, and now the tail. And there's a lot of detail in it that you can yeah, put. Yeah, and you can, you can go deeper. Uh, I mean. Dimension with the polymer clay is amazing. It's yes. fantastic. Yes. OK, 
Okay, so I'm and you see, I don't need to cut patterns or anything. You just add, and then you accommodate the clay in the position that you want. So I put the, I just make sure it goes to the frame, just because it will look more natural. Mm -hmm. And then the stylus ball will do the work of the fur in itself. Look how that cute. also embeds it, so it sticks onto the other side, right? Mm -hmm. Make, and we are going to make sure it's well connected before. Now with polymer clay, polymer clay doesn't air dry. It's a bakeable clay. So you have to put this in the oven. Okay. Okay. So you put in any oven that you have. I have an electric one in my studio just to make it easier. But you could do it in your home oven as well. And it is not toxic unless it, it burns. Unless it burns. Then, then you want to run away from that smell. Uh, but if you just want to play safe, have a, a toaster or oven or an electric one. And you bake, it depends on the brand, the brand that we have here at Mondo Market, which is... Sculpey? The, yeah, it's the Primo package for Sculpey, which is my, one of my favorite for jewelry. Uh, you bake at 275 degrees Fahrenheit, and if you are in another country, Google that. And, and that's it, for ten, oh, for 20 minutes. Okay, 275 at 20 minutes and it's done. I think, Artem, do, yeah. that I want to leave this one without eyes. What do you say? Oh, why do you think you, why do you want to leave it without eyes? I don't eyes? like how it looks. It does look adorable. Yeah, I like how it is right now. So, because the, my, my clay is really close to, to the pendant, is actually touching the clay, uh, I will probably not have to do anything later, like I don't have to do anything with the other one I made. Mm. Uh, but if, if you always test after you come from the oven, so if it if falls apart, let's say the clay comes apart, because with metal it might happen, uh, just go with some super glue and glue back again, and it will stay there forever. Yeah, it should be Jury already glue. in the form of the yeah. mold. Yeah, it's not going to come out in this case, because it is touching the frame inside and outside. Okay, so it's very unlikely that that would happen, but if it does, it's a simple, simple thing. Fix. Yeah, Small, usually quick. when you're, for example, if I have a, a normal blank pendant, a so a pendant that has pendant. a back, and I work with polymer clay, you will have to pull it out yeah. and then glue, because it okay. will come out, and it doesn't glue to the, to the metal that much. But here you have, while you show that one, I'll get the other one oh, out. Oh, look how nice this fox looks. Yeah. And the detail that she put on the, the tummy as well as the face, it's all possible because you could manipulate the polymer clay mm -hmm. while you are using it. Exactly. Okay, I'm taking the tape out of my fish while you show. And this is a strong tape. It's already, it, it already dried up, look at that. Yeah, two, it's really two minutes. I, I tell you, I go more just to be sure. But in two minutes it's done. So quite different than you waiting for 24 hours to see oh, one definitely. piece. Because if you're like me, you like to create, you are always trying new stuff. So you want to see, did so it come out okay or not? If you do end up not liking this piece, can you pop out the, the resin and then make um, it again? It would be tough to pop out, but yes, in te technically you can. It's hard, that I don't think it's going to come out though. Do you need assistance? No. It just takes patience. Oh, I understand. Patience, grasshopper. But you know, it's a great time before we oh, end yeah. to tell them what they have to do next. Uh, well, first of all, I will... See, I had a little bit extra resin that went through the tape, like here. Can you show here, maybe? And all I had to do is pull with the finger and it comes out, see? So I have a perfect fish, a perfect pendant. That took me two minutes to make. It even looks aquatic. If you just look at the right? detail inside its scales. Yes. Now, if you want more opaque, you could use acrylic, for example, even, yeah, or some other type of paint. Uh, I like the transparency of I, that. I like the transparency, too. And I think you did a fabulous job with the colors. <laughs> and look at the sparkles. Oh, definitely. Oh, very the, cute. Um, very cute. Sparkle our creativity right now, Shahar. Yeah. So, guys, this frames. You really don't find anywhere else. And they're only, we only have a limited amount of them. Very so you limited. might as well take advantage and yeah. get Yeah, don't buy like one seven. only because it's a dick thing, right? And they are all not promo price. Do you have more comments? Um, at the moment, yes. They were asking to show the fox. I don't know which the one finished specifically. One? Let's so, put the, yeah, we'll them the both one. together and you show both. 
Okay. Door. So this one is not baked. So have in mind, I'm going to take this to the electric oven and wait for 20 minutes. I can put on top of a, of a piece of paper so it doesn't get shiny or anything. And, and that's it. It looks really detailed. Yeah. And then this one and is just And this one, it was cured really under aquatic. UV light for two minutes. And I put some I extra I color. To light. You can see a little bit of the sparkle, you, right? You, the fact is that on camera, you cannot see how pretty it is. If right? you, if the you, glitter, you don't see the glitter much. That's so true. Um, if you do look at it, the frames are really nicely done with, they show the color a lot more Yes. with the gold framing. Uh, so we did show the fox. Look, my fish is swimming. Hi, I'm swimming. I'm swimming. I'm swimming. See how pretty it is. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Going to go on, on my neck really soon. Could we put the clay folks? Okay. I'm sorry. Anything else? You want me to read? Yes, yeah, it's okay. For me to read requires putting glass. Oh, Shahar, could you put the clay fox in the fridge to cool the clay before we try to remove it from the tile? <coughs> Would it warm, uh, harm the clay? No, so, okay. you could. You could. Sometimes when I, I, I gave a class on polymer clay like yesterday, and you should check it out because it was really good. But sometimes you're manipulating the clay, and depending on the brand that you're using, it, it is either too soft or it gets soft, because if I'm doing something intricate, so it, like you're working on the tail and you want more details and more details, what happens? Uh, the clay cat gets warm. Sometimes your hand is too warm. It just emits. I don't have much of that problem, uh, but I know a lot of, which, which is weird, because you know chubbier people, they tend to have warm hands. But what happens when it's warm? Uh, it, it softens the clay. So it becomes to a point that you say, oh my gosh, I can't do this. So you have two options. You go to the fridge, put it there for a couple minutes, uh -huh. or you work with a, a bowl of water full of ice. So I'm working here, because sometimes you don't wanna, let's say your studio is in the basement or something like that. Mm -hmm. You it's don't wanna go there. all the way to the fridge. So I'm working here and I'm thinking, it's, it's kind of too hot, I'm not getting it. I put in that bowl with ice and water for a couple of seconds and the clay reconstitutes again and then I keep on working. So it doesn't harm whatsoever, uh, and you can do that several times if you need to. My advice is for you to always use a clay that is not too soft. Okay, it looks better when you're starting with polymer clay. You say, oh, I have to condition less, uh, it's less work, it's easier, I don't like because my, the other make my hands hurt. Well. It is, but it's going to bring you frustration if you were trying to do anything with detail. So usually, the very soft clay is called a beginner's clay. Okay. So if you just want to play with your kids and make little mouses and, and, and little animals and stuff like that, perfect. But if you want to go one step up and really start making pieces that you can sell, well then, you have to think, okay, a little bit more firm. And then you have from more firm to very firm, you choose what do you want? I tend to choose colors first, but really when it's too soft later, it's a nightmare. This one is one of my favorite ones, the, the Primo, and the other reason is my favorite it has those special uh, colors. So it has oh, copper, damn. it has silver, uh, stone-like. So uh, this is a sample package that we have here. It's really for you to start trying that and seeing how you like. And then later you go and you buy the squares uh, in whatever colors you use. But you have to try those special colors that you have. I like the ones, that, there are some that come with glitter, there are some that may, mimic stones. So it's a very, very good one. I would call this an intermediate level, but you can make art pieces out of that clay. Okay, of course with the fox so tiny that you know it's not going to, you, you could create dozens of this. Now before we go, yeah. I just want to, to tell you, uh, Weather is warming up. There, there are going to be tons of bazaars out there right oh, now yeah, and fiber festivals and all types of festivals. Well, if you think, oh, I could use more money for my daughter's ballet or, or for anything out there. Just a little spending cash. Yeah, here. you make these and if you sell them, I don't know, let me see how much I think, 15, 20 bucks with a cord. There you go. And you will be making tons of these in one hour. Yeah, it takes right? it takes just two minutes for the resin to 
cure, right? Cure, exactly. The polymer clay doesn't take much either. It's just the time curing, but you can make 10 of them and then put all of them in yeah, the oven definitely. at once, 20 minutes. And, and the look detail at this. you could put on them, the colors that you could mix and match. Yeah, so it's a no-brainer. Now, if you go out and try to find this type of uh, frames on a craft store, I can tell you ahead of time because I do buy in all of them, you're not going to find. These are very unique frames, very cute. I think it's a perfect size, it's not too big and not too small. We are... They make a statement. They do make a statement. Yes. They're all really pretty. Yeah. I and probably can't hold them all at the same time. <laughs> right? And of course, you have the chance to get some of them today. Oh yeah. At You're our getting promo price, right? Some lucky winner is getting this one for well, their The lucky comments. winner is getting the finished pendant, but the lucky winner still wants to make more. That's of true. Her own. And then they only have the chance for the, for the next 24 hours. Once it's gone, it's gone. That's how it we work here. Disappear. Right? Um, so, uh, Bonnie is saying this looks like a, a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Uh, Rachel was stating that we should put a black feet on the fox. A black feet? Why not? Yeah, we could do, do it. Let's do that right now. That is true. They all have black feet. Some of them, they, they cut now, long. From my, from my experience with clay, it doesn't dry up by itself unless you cook it, right? Not the polymer clay. Okay. It will, if you, if you were to make this one and then you leave on your bench and forget about it for five or six months, uh, if you try to manipulate again, it will crack. Okay, but it's not going to dry. So no, it doesn't dry. I do have a few more comments. Noemi okay. Smith is saying nice. Hey Noemi, Noemi is coming to teach you the dragon class. That'd be, be awesome. The dragon looks intense to make. It's oh, so yes. intricate with those little spikes and the teeth. Yeah. I'm jealous. She just went to the Monster Palooza and had a lot of fun there. Oh, Linda's saying you would make this look easy, Shahar. It is easy. It does look easy. I For feel like I could do it. For you to have an idea. Just by observing. Last night I had a meeting to go, right? So I told Nashville, hey Nashville, I want to show the fox pendant with the concrete. Mm -hmm. So I have a frame there and do it, right? Well, I come home, she had forgotten as usual, but then she went and made it, as right? Usual. As usual. <laughs> so she went and made it. And then I can only hear her from the studio. How many frames can I use? Oh. And I, we want to sell the frames, don't use all of them. <laughs> so, it, it, I mean, you make one and then she was, oh, I could have done this and I could have done this. It doesn't stop. That's why really getting one is not enough. Not enough, I can assure you. Cool? Yeah, I think the concrete, one, the concrete ones look great. I, it I reminds me it. of a winter fox, as I yeah. said before. And we have this super white concrete that is super light, super resistant. So even if they decide to paint on top of that concrete later, it's going to look gorgeous. Oh, yeah. Right? What, do you, what kind of paint do you think would last We have last colorants on it. that you can mix with the concrete. So let's suppose you want an orange With the color. mica powder, could you mix concrete with the white uh, mica powder? You no, know, it wouldn't show much at all. Okay. No, but with the colorant that is specifically for that, it colors really well and really strong. So mm -hmm. if you wanted a strong blue fox or orange fox, you mix the colorant. Oh. If you want just to paint over, you pretty much can use anything. And she did put glass in here. Think about yes. like the different gems and stuff that you could put right? in here. Right, crystals. Yeah, like crystals. Yeah, you can go f really far with that. Mm. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Bree is saying the hey, molds Bree. are beautiful. I have never seen any like them. Yes, me neither. I really I was very happy when I found this. By the way, Bree, thank you for the link that you sent. I did watch the video. Uh, Margaret is saying, wonderful. Thanks, Shahar. Uh, Bonnie is saying, love, you, love your fox, my dear. Thank you. Uh, Margaret is saying, super white concrete is awesome. You know, we have some people at the I Love Arts and Crafts that they yes. have been posting pieces that they've been making. There was, I don't know if it was her, but uh, this lady used a cream tube to create a mold. A cream tube? Yes. And huh. she made, she put some glass, sold right away. Because we are always telling people, you can sell, you can sell, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. You just don't have confidence. You need a little more confidence, It's easy. Right? They, these pieces are very, who else do you know that makes concrete exactly. pieces? Exactly. And then this morning I saw some fridge magnets made out of oh. concrete. So they go, they go to, uh, we, we show them and they go higher. The question and that's is, what we want. The question is, how limited is your imagination? Not limited whatsoever, right? Exactly. So guys, we have to announce that Monday. Monday we are having... Uh, we, we do crafting with Shaylin on Mondays. Yes. So she comes and she uses, usually works a lot with wood. She's been mm -hmm. doing some fun projects, really cool to watch, amazing lady. She has a lot of experience with crafts, so you cannot miss her. Comes at the same time, same okay, place, same time, Monday. same place. And then Thursday we are back with yeah, the Sparkle Creativity. We're going to 
not going to show you what I'm prepping, but you're going to have fun We're going that. to put more glitter into your life. Yeah, more sparkles, more sparkles. Cool. So, don't forget. Oh, 24, 24 hours. hours limited promo time. Price. Uh, oh. Just go ahead and make white, orange foxes. Create all, all colors of foxes. Yeah, exactly. Create koi fish. Yeah. What is that Nemo fish called? Doris? Dor Clownfish, clownfish. Clownfish. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think that can, would look awesome. I don't know if they have this kind of tail, but Oh, yeah. Dory. Dory would look great because she's blue. Just play. It's also exactly. cool for you if you're doing polymer clay with kids. Great activity. I so, agree. Thank you very much. Right? And uh, we hope to see you back here on Thursday, right? Goodbye. Are you going to be here with me? I will not. I'm going out of state, <laughs> unfortunately. Ah, that's not fair. But. Okay. But we'll be here with Nashla and I next Thursday. Same bad time, same bad place. Bed? I thought you said bedtime, same bad. Bed was the, there was a superhero. Do I need to talk to you about superheroes too? I might need to, I might need to learn about superheroes <laughs> Come on, in a second. this guy, I mean, all of us play oh, Pokemon, he plays sometimes. By the way, the winner for the Panda. <gasps> winner for the Panda, yeah, right. You will never Who believe you won, but Linda, Linda congratulations. Won. So Linda, please. Linda Lily. Uh, go to mondomarkettv.com, write us an email with your address, and we will ship right to you. I think it's hello at mondomarkettv.com, but if it's not, double check, double check, and then write to us, and we'll ship that right to you. Congratulations, and thank you all so much for participating, sharing, and commenting here. It really we makes this special. We enjoy your presence, and yes. we will be back Monday. Yeah, see you then.